Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Wolverine. I just realized the box doesn't say who they are unless you look at the top, which is just like, you know, it doesn't matter, but it's just a weird thing. Sabretooth and Wolverine. This set, I think, is the set of some contention uh, because almost everybody, I think, wanted a new good Sabretooth in this style. I don't know if anybody wanted a new Wolverine in nondescript street clothes. Maybe. Like, it can't hurt, but did anybody care? I don't know. And did anybody want to have to buy this two-pack in order to get this guy? I'm guessing that's a big fat no, because forced two-packs suck always. However, is this guy good enough to carry it? I'm going to give you a little hint right now and say yes, but, and we'll get into the but later. So let's go ahead and get him off the stand and take a closer look. All right, before we look at the figures, I do want to show you my package. It's a nice package, other than the naming not being on the front, which I don't personally care. I'm going to throw it away anyway. But for those of you who wanted to display it, I think it's a bit weird that on the front, you get the like good side art. I like that. That's cool, but this right here doesn't really show much. It's weird, and then you don't have the names. So if you wanted to display in box, it's a little bit weird. Again, I couldn't care less personally, but I know some of you are in box collectors, so you know, it matters. I like that they included this. That's a cool little thing. Um, you know, it's, it's a better box in some ways and then not in others. These heads, I get why they're doing that. I used to love seeing the little heads at the top of the comics like that. We'll talk about the heads. Okay, so packaging is average. All right, we're gonna do them both in the same review, of course, because it's a two pack. We're gonna do heights first, and then I'll just break it, break them off and do them separate. So Sabretooth is about 18 and a half centimeters, not counting his hair flips. That's gonna be about seven and a quarter, we'll say. So he does have some height. I'll set him down so you can see exactly. And Wolverine is about, let's call it five and three quarters to the, where his head would be. Not the top of the hat, because that's not useful for scaling. About 15 centimeters. So we'll just stand him here so you get a quick, direct comparison for heights. Okay, there's that. I think that's pretty good. I'll move the camera so you don't have a weird parallax. All right, and there's Papa Darwin right there. So this is definitely not the cartoon saber tooth that stands as tall as a mountain. We'll get to that in a minute, uh, but there you go. Decent sizing. I think probably Wolverine's a little bit tall and Sabretooth is a little bit small based on what people might want, but is it good enough is the question. I think probably. All right, we're gonna start with Wolverine, but first I wanna do a question of the day. How many of you, or not how many, you can't answer that. It did you, <laughs> did you want a new Sabretooth in this costume? First of all, just yes or no. And then second of all, do you want one that matches the 90s cartoon where he was humongous and had the blonde hair and the slightly different look? Because I definitely still want that. This will definitely do for me. If we could get that, I would love it. The beast giant monstrous one is what I want specifically, but this one is definitely good enough. And I think since they used Omega Red for this guy, which I think is appropriate, they could use Caliban for the other one. Oh man, that would be glorious. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with Wolverine. Oh, no, let's start with both of them still. That's one of the things I wanted to talk about. Hasbro's weird, so weird. Very comic-ish, right? Comic details, comic body, comic style head. Looks good. Everything is hyper-realistic about this guy. It looks like a movie figure, almost. Like it's not exactly, but it's pretty close. We have the sculpted texture on all of his clothes, buttons, everything. Arm hair, chest hair, he's got the super realistic face. They don't match in the slightest. These do not look like they go together. It's a really weird, really weird looking set of figures. I don't know why you would pair those together. Why does this look so much like a movie figure rather than a comic figure? That's so strange. Even the jeans are textured. They don't do that for their comic figures. Was this a movie release of some kind that didn't make sense? Some like, cause they don't, Hugh Jackman's not short and stocky. So I don't know what they were thinking. Where did this come from? Why did they make it hyper realistic? And with the hyper realistic face to go up against a very comic esque, one of the most comic esque figures they've released, which is a good thing. 
This is, it's such a weird two pack. That dichotomy is so obvious. All right, so let's go ahead and just dive into Wolverine. I have to say, like technically the faces are well sculpted faces and they're painted well enough. Do they look enough like Wolverine? I don't know. It's not like I really cared. Okay, let's do another question of the day. Did anybody care about this Wolverine? I don't personally. And I definitely don't care for the hyper-realistic kind of creepy look that he has on his face and only with a hat. Why couldn't we get this? Why is there not a version that has this? I want that head. That head looks cool. A yelling, unhatted head with his wild hair. That would be really cool. Here we only have two different color hats. One black, one brown. This one's a little more disheveled in the hair department. Does it come off? Like maybe? No, okay. I don't know. And this one's smirking like a, a creep. So I don't know, technically good, but not at all what I want in a Wolverine figure, especially with the hyper realism. I couldn't care less about this release. Let me know what you guys think. So we have the head, looks nice. All the little details are technically good. You have the cloth texture for the shirt, for the jeans, the belt is done really well. You can see all the little snaps and things. His hair is done as well as they can do hair. I think that's a pretty good way of doing it. Way better than that burn victim looking Wolverine that they released not that long ago. His shoes have very little detail, but I don't know that it matters that much. But yeah, overall, it looks good. I like the proportioning. It's a nice looking figure. It's fine. I'm perfectly okay with that aesthetic other than the hyper-realistic face, and I could do without the, the details in the clothing if it's a comic release or put them on everybody. But since they don't, it's weird. So yeah, it looks all right. Even where they did the painting here in the arms, they did a pretty good job. So I'll give it to them, but it is weird. We'll give him a rating in a second. Let's go ahead and talk about this guy. We'll do a rating as a two pack and then individually at the same time. Aesthetically, I love this guy. This body, one of the best bodies they've made. Now they have even copped to this and I, I called it out originally. The shoulder area slash neck area is jacked. Uh, they've only been able to use this body for character and I don't mean jacked as in muscular, I mean it's screwed up. Uh, they've only been able to use this body for characters with things like this or Omega Red Shoulders or there was someone else who used this. Was it? Uh, I don't remember now. Who was it? I don't know. Uh, either way, you, if you hide it, it works pretty darn well. But you'll notice the shoulders are still quite low relative to the neck and the neck is quite large and high and there's no trap at all. It's hidden on this figure. So that's a good thing. The, the mane here hides it very well. So that's a good thing. But other than that, this is one of their best bodies by a mile. You can see it actually looks stylistically unrealistic in a realistic way. And you know what I mean? It looks like a superhero from a comic book. The muscle groups are all very well done and accurate, but blown up out of proportion. He's got super meaty legs where they belong to be meaty. The knees and ankles are pinched in appropriately. He's not wearing Crocs, that's great. Big muscular thighs makes him look powerful. Narrow waist, doesn't have weird obliques that stick out half an inch. V-shaped body, very V-shaped body, it's great. Nice big muscular arms. Like I said, they need to rework this upper area some for the shoulders and traps, but on this it works pretty damn well. It looks good. Few slight issues, uh, the oranges don't match everywhere. The molded PVC doesn't match the painted parts perfectly. It's more noticeable under these lights than it was to me with my naked eye under normal lighting. Uh, so, but these lights are fairly neutral, but they are uh, fluorescent that are color corrected. Either way, it's not perfect under certain lighting, but otherwise it's all right. Good thing is flat finish. Boy, does that make a difference. This guy's flat finish, comic style body, looks so much better than this guy's not flat finish with texture. This looks like a toy compared to this, even though this has less detail. So good. I love the flat finish. And the paintwork is pretty damn clean, guys. Not perfect around the hips here and the upper thighs, but it's pretty clean. And they lined it up properly. Hasbro did some things that they don't normally do, which they should always do. But like in the past, they've done suits like this where they would put the line just inside or just outside of the articulation so it's not hidden. This is done properly. It's painted very cleanly all the way around. Very, very nicely done. I love that. The sculpt for the mane, I think they nailed it. I think they probably could have pushed in a little bit and maybe you can. Uh, just because it gets in the way of the butterfly, just a touch. But it also hides it, so I'm kind of indifferent on that. But the sculpt is great. There appears to be a wash on the front only, which is ugly and weird. But it's not super obvious, I guess. 
I don't know. That definitely could be better. It should be everywhere. It's only right like for the first inch. Kind of weird. Head sculpt. Very, very nicely done. Very comic-esque. Not hyper-realistic and creepy looking. Love the sculpt for the hair on the face and the head. Paint job is clean all the way around. Looks good. I like it a whole bunch. Uh, only huge problem I have, and I use that word on purpose, it's a pun, is the head is too damn big for this body. And it's not super noticeable because of the mane and everything, and it's not by far not the worst offender that they've had with this problem. But I'll Photoshop it for you. You'll see if his head was smaller and sat a little bit lower, he'd look so much better. So much better. But still, looks really damn good as is. Like I said, one of the best bodies. We have some nice new parts on here. Looks great. I love this. I couldn't be happier. Oh, that's not true. I could be happier, but I am very happy that this turned out good. They put did a good job with it, and uh, I'm still waiting for that cartoon one. But this is a good, good, good saber tooth. I've seen some people saying that the previous one, and I'll have it up there, is a better release. Get the heck out of here. If there are people saying that, there's no wonder Hasbro doesn't try anymore. That previous one's nowhere near as good as this. The body sucks. The heads, everything's worse about that figure, except it has a swivel down here. I don't know what you guys are talking about if you think that one looked better. I'll put a photo on here too if you don't want to watch the video. Anyway, this guy looks great. Not perfect, but great. So let's do some aesthetic ratings. This, I'll give a seven. I don't like a lot of things about it. There's a lot of good stuff about it too, but that creepy face and not having an unhatted head aesthetically is a problem for me. And so it's not something I want at all. So I would give it a seven personally. You could probably argue for eight because it has lots of details even though it doesn't make sense in the comic setting. This guy gets a nine. It's so close to perfect. I mean, reasonably perfect, not actual perfect, because you can't have that. It's very, very good. Very, very good. Now, as a two-pack, because you have to buy them as a two-pack, I'm going to go seven. This guy's getting screwed. He's getting held down by a Wolverine I'm guessing most people don't want. Now, as far as accessories go, we'll start with Wolverine. He does have the two heads you already saw. Different colored hats, different style faces, but both hyper-realistic and creepy. Don't like that. He does come with the, the gripping hands, if you want to call them that, and then two claw hands, which look like they might have come from the movie, the Hugh Jack and Wolverine. But nice claws, not shiny, but nice enough. So I'll take that, and he does come with some playing cards, which are nicely detailed. So I like that. I don't like that we don't have any angry head, again, for Wolverine, and we don't have one without a hat, so that kind of sucks. For Sabretooth, we get the grinning head with his teeth showing and then we do get the yelling head which I think looks really nice and it doesn't make sense that he has a yelling head and Wolverine doesn't it just doesn't make any sense it's lazy and cheap uh, as far as the hands go for Sabretooth we just have a second set of claw hands basically one that's kind of grippy and I think that's good enough I really like the hands that they gave him though very nice uh, so yeah it's a good enough spread of accessories other than Wolverine is lacking so I'll go 7 out of 10. But not having a good Wolverine head to go on this body to go with this guy, it just makes no sense. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the articulation. This guy being... Did this body get used for something else? Maybe the pants. I don't remember this at all. So is it all new? Maybe the pants were... I don't know. You guys can let me know. I can't remember. Okay, so he does look down a little bit. Not, not a ton, but definitely enough. And he looks up pretty well and... Doesn't really lean too much, but you get your rotation. They're using their old style hinge. So, you know, that's not going to have the best range. It never will uh, for certain poses. Full rotation there. Arms better than horizontal by just a touch. That's fine. Bicep swivel is fine. Double jointed elbow. One of the uglier joints. Holy crap, that's a rough one. That is a really rough one. That sucks. Okay, it works, but it sucks. Wrists have a swivel and a hinge. Diaphragm joint on this guy goes back a little bit, really ugly, not sculpted at all. You get a faceted torso, doesn't look good, and doesn't have good range. That's nuts. That is nuts. Good rotation, though. And you get a waist twist, which serves very little purpose since you already get that here. Not a good torso. For the hips, you can kick far enough forward, not super far, though. They don't go back at all, going out to the side. Only about 45 degrees, that's pretty limited. Thigh swivel is fine, double jointed knee works okay. These must be old because they have pins. So yeah, it's not the best range, but it's a functional, decent looking knee. Good proportioning for the legs. And the ankles are actually ball hinges. They go pretty far back, far enough forward, and you get a solid ankle rocker. So he's gonna get a seven for articulation. It's perfectly acceptable, though his torso sucks. Sabretooth, let's see how he functions. 
You're not gonna get a ton out of the head just because of the, the mane here, and he still is on the old neck joint, and his head is huge, but it's gonna be probably enough to do what you need to do with him. He's not Spider-Man after all, so it'll probably be okay. Does he have butterfly joints, which are some of the better butterfly joints that they've used, so that's pretty good, pretty useful. You're gonna get your full rotation, and you're gonna get your hinge out here to the side. It will get up to just shy of horizontal, so that's a bit of a bummer. Bicep swivel is there, but they really need to do something about this. It's not a good looking bicep swivel because of the way the, the flat is showing on the bicep part. And I think the shoulders could be pumped just a little bit. Like I said, they need to rework that whole area. Uh, double jointed elbows work nicely. These are newer pinless joints from the Omega Red body. Uh, newer sculpt pinless joints. Good elbow, looks decent. Love this part here. They did a good job with that as they did with the sculpt on the hands. Wrists have plenty of range in their hinge and swivel. Ab crunch on this guy, not the best we've seen, but it is sufficient. And it leans forward nicely. Again, nicely hidden by the paint. Rotation there. Legs come up to better than horizontal, so that's good. They go back just a touch. Going out to the side, not good. Only about 45 degrees. You do get your thigh swivel, that's fine. Double jointed knee. Not the best range, not the best proportioning, but it is okay. It's not super obvious because of the meatiness and the good sculpt. The proportioning's not as big of a deal. Ankles go all the way back, all the way forward, and you get a decent ankle rocker. So not the most groundbreaking figure ever, but it is definitely functional. I would give this guy seven and a half or eight. I do like it more because he has a nice butterfly joint. He can lean forward nicely, and mostly the hips work pretty well. The ankles are solid. Yeah, I think you could say eight for this guy for being a bigger body. Uh, as a two-pack, whatever, articulation doesn't need to be a two-pack thing. Okay, so final verdict on this two-pack is it's really a shame that they packed such a nice saber-tooth figure in with a Wolverine that I'm guessing most people don't want, or at least didn't want as a necessity with this. They don't go together. There's just really no reason for these two figures. I get why Wolverine and Sabretooth would be together, but these two figures do not belong in the same package. So again, let me know what you guys think about that. I hate two packs like this, but I think this guy carries it enough. I think if you really wanted this Sabretooth, this isn't like it's a bad figure. It's not a figure I want at all, but I'm not as offended because it's not a pile of crap. So I, I'm making the justification that it's okay. I wanted this and this one's good enough and he's an iconic enough character that they win. Hasbro beat me on this one. I would say it's a decent two pack. I'm only gonna give it a seven as a two pack though because of having to buy this figure. But this guy on a standalone verdict would get a nine and this guy on a standalone verdict would get like a six or a seven. I hate the faces. So there you go. That's my thoughts on it. Let me know. That's my thoughts. Those are my thoughts on this two pack. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos almost every single day, or at least I will once I get back to my normal schedule. And I do have thousands of videos already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.